The Glenview neighborhood of Oakland is a super desirable neighborhood in Oakland, and I happen to live in Glenview, so I thought I would tell people what it's like to live in the Glenview neighborhood and all the things that I love and all the things that I don't love. So a little bit about me, I've been living in the neighborhood for seven years. Uh, I live like right smack dab in the middle of, of the neighborhood. My kids um, both go to Glenview Elementary School. I am a block captain and it could be better. Um, but I also am the one on my street who pushes for National Night Out and I do a block party. And I am super duper into community. So on that note, just with community, um, I would say that that's actually a really strong uh, trait of the people who live in the Glenview. Um, a lot of people make it a point to know each other. People are super friendly. It's a very active community. We have the Glenview Neighborhood Association, otherwise known as the GNA. They do a lot of stuff to promote community and to talk about neighborhood issues. Also, the school community for Glenview Elementary is very active. And they're also always doing a bunch of stuff, of which you know I am a part of, so I, I just speak from my own experience. Um, we have several list serves that happen in the neighborhood, and um, those are also very active. People are going on them all the time, posting about something, whether it's like you know this lost dog, or you know this cat, or the storm drains, or somebody who is you know got a lot of food on their trees. Like there is always something going on on any one of you know, the, the neighborhood lives through. Then I'm talking about, yes, we have next door, but we also have something called Just My Neighbors. We also have a groups.io group, and all of them are busy with stuff all the time. Another characteristic of the Glenview is that everybody seems to be political in some way, shape, or form for some cause. Although that's probably true for a lot of Oakland in general anyway. Like I mentioned, my kids go to school here and the elementary school community is super active. So um, the other thing is people are always walking around and we almost always see friends you know, from school and parents and, and just you know neighbors and stuff. So I think that's something that is really sweet to me. I really like that and it really makes me feel comfortable in my neighborhood. Also, the neighborhood is super diverse. Although, putting the neighborhood in context of Oakland, which overall is really diverse, probably the Glenview doesn't seem that diverse when you compare it to all of Oakland. But nonetheless, I think it is very diverse. We also have a super cute neighborhood village that is um, very easy to walk to and honestly has almost everything you need. We have a lot of really um, nice restaurants. We have um, Marzano, we have Park Burger, which is you know, great for kids. We have um, Palisa, which is really awesome. There are also a tap room. We have a coffee shop, which is the ultimate grounds. We have a dry cleaner. Um, we have Glenview Lock and Key, which is great because they also happen to uh, really know old, <laughs> old locks and old doors, and which is perfect for the neighborhood because we have a lot of hundred-year-old homes like mine, which is 106 years old. Um, we got flowers, lots of nail salons. We have an orthodontist. Uh, we have our own neighborhood esthetician from Birdie Beauty, Postal Plus, so you can mail your packages. And we also have several neighborhood preschools that you can walk to, like Bloomers, Duck Pond, Ganmatov, and more. And of course, we have a brand new elementary school that everyone is excited to have come back in the neighborhood. Uh, it's going to open up in fall. 2020 so I'm really excited about that. We also have two casual carpool pickup spots one on Hampel and Park Boulevard and the other one on Cavendish and Park Boulevard. We also have really nice weather here. I think that we are uh, probably a little bit more moderate than say downtown Oakland. We tend to be a little bit um, warmer I think uh, you know if you look at all the weather apps and you know it never gets that hot there might be a few days during the year where it gets really hot but you know none of the houses in our neighborhood 
uh, have ACs well. I mean, there may be some depending on, you know, if the, the owner was really sensitive to heat, but generally speaking, most of the houses in Oakland don't even have AC. And my favorite is Halloween. We have an awesome Halloween out here. Uh, so what are the things about Glenview that I don't love? So the first thing would probably be the sidewalk. Some of the sidewalks are in bad shape. So, um, you know, if you are, you know, little or if you are elderly or if you're just like me and you walk around kind of in your head all the time and you're not really paying attention <laughs> to where you're walking, it could be bad news. So, you know, for kids, you know, I'm thinking about like, you know, when they're on their, you know, they're riding bikes or they're roller skating or skateboarding, you know, that kind of stuff, you just gotta be extra careful for them. We also have a lot of houses with some overgrown landscaping, which sometimes, you know, it's growing out halfway into the sidewalks, and so that's just something else that can make, you know, walking around the sidewalks a little bit more difficult is, you know, when you're going down the street and suddenly you're being attacked by some hedge. Some of the streets are also not in great shape. Uh, we have C-Click Fix, which you can go on and report them, and, um, you know, they, they may get fixed, but that's also really common to all of Oakland and not really specific to Glenview. Also, a lot of the houses here don't have garages, and so there's a lot of competition on some streets for street parking. Um, sometimes houses do have garages, but they're too small to park in, or the driveway is not easy enough to get your vehicle through to get to your garage. We also have a good amount of wildlife in the neighborhood. So this means that you need to make sure you know, that your house has all the entry points sealed up, that all your vents, you know, they don't have holes or that you stuff anything, you know, with steel wool, that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes if you're walking around at night, you may hear some of these friends in the trees chomping away, um, or you may see um, them running across the street. But again, not specific to Glenview. This is all over Oakland. And also too, you know, we have Diamond Park, which is walking distance. And uh, if you happen to live closer to Diamond Park, you're probably gonna have a few more friends coming to visit you. And we do have dogs, but don't get me wrong, the issue is not dogs, but sometimes what happens is dog poop will appear on your front lawn or in your landscaping, which is not something that I enjoy at all. And sometimes if you don't pull in your trash cans right away, you will start to get um, a collection of dog poop bags in them, which I mean, I am glad that they're in the garbage can, but I, you know, in the summertime, it really is not pleasant and I don't enjoy, like I don't have dogs, but I certainly definitely do not enjoy getting somebody's dog's poop in my can. So what do you think? Do you live in Glenview? What are things that you love or don't love? Spill it. Put it in the comments and let's talk about it. So I talk about all kinds of stuff related to Oakland real estate and I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications. Like this video and give me a comment below. I always appreciate it.